right, before I go, oh, uh, I curate, I'm a co-owner and curator of Exhibit Trill. Shout out to my homeboy Tracy. Um, we're doing an art exhibit during our, uh, the RBG Family Fund Day. Jesse's going to pass out. Empress is going to fly out. Oh, Jesse, my yes. little sister. Empress is going to pass out and fly us for the RBG Family Fund Day. We're doing a book drive. Uh, also, we're doing a youth book drive because we basically want to start our own. Our, uh, Book club for the youth and all that good stuff. So we invite with us to check it out. It's free. Um, yeah, well, that's it. We'll go to my next job. To the young, gifted in black. And in America, they abuse you as a threat. Because of your skin tone. See, my shit alone strikes me in the streets of the room. So imagine the added pressure of being able to express, whether it be through dance, rap, song, or even a poem. Constantly under attack because you opt not to accept what they try to inject into the thought process of the baby. And the youth have been deliberately driven crazy. So it's on us to inspire and hopefully maybe be the reminder that your souls are made of pure gold. And never be the reminder that your souls do indeed hold the power. And our hearts and our backs and the engine in America wouldn't be shit if we won our internet. I need not even mention that even with the legend is who gave them the jacks? And who gave them the blues? And who gave them the raps? And all the latest dance moves. They said niggas keep on making it in America, keep on taking it. And whenever we find ourselves faced with it, we just hit the reset button, make some different shit. See, they appropriate your exterior because they can never duplicate your interior. All the while they call you inferior, but if you ask me, that low key simply means that maybe if they you superior. See, it's all within our history, the glory still meant when we were young, gifted in the blacks, so and the struggles are just waste that we bench press to uplift over these atrocities. But I don't think you fully understand me. See, Lorraine Hansberry inspired the words of Nina Simone saying so heavenly. So actually, Maybe we're all just raisins in the sun, or roses that grew from the concrete. And this, this is that fire next time that James Bowling wrote about that flow to you so elegantly. See, we're the struggle, we're the bustle, so we're the ones with the hustle, and we're the tears, and we're the fears, now scratch that, we're the God, so we had no fear. Mm. So that means we're the church, and we're the verse, so lift your voice and be heard, because we will never curse. We're simply the children that were chosen for this moment to be awoken and now inherit the crowns that were earned from every ancestor that was beaten, assassinated, raped, and burned. See, we're the realization of the dream. And with a bullet by the ballot when they exed out our leaders. And I was always told that you always been on black, so each and every one of y'all, my niggas, I don't believe them. And Pop told me that the dog eat the berry, and the sweet of the juice. So the nappy of the hair, the deep of the roots. And the melanin take pride and know this truth. Without black, they can never be light. So the Oscars could literally be snow right. And they rock catching the tomorrow of this grand when I'm fucked up, and you're fucked up, and God got us, so we don't be all right. Right? And besides, me and Simone Ben told y'all. To be young, gifted, and black. Well, that's where it's at. Thank you.